A massive crash at a Sioux Falls school. That was the scene for today's immersive training. Kettleland's Dan Centella was there as local students got a chance to learn alongside first responders. What's happening this morning in Western Sioux Falls isn't just training for students, it's also training for people who already serve as first responders. What's bleeding? However, this isn't a real emergency at the Sioux Falls School District's Career and Technical Education Academy. We're doing a mass casualty for a um, semi-truck that ran into the building. Um, the injuries are down by the automotive lab. We've got some vehicles that we normally do maintenance on and they're all um, kind of queued up as a crash, essentially. It's meant to simulate an actual emergency for the benefit of EMT students here. They are working with first responders from Sioux Falls and um, utilizing their skills that they've learned the whole semester and treating these patients. Lincoln High School senior Ethan Wassmond is taking an EMT class at the academy. We're practicing assessing if they are immediate, could wait a little bit, or if they're green and they don't really need to be worked on right now, and then we're just verbalizing what treatment we would give them and then bringing them out to the transport people so they can take them. This realistic training helps these students prepare for real emergencies. I think it means a lot because they get to put all the pieces that they've learned and put them together and see, like, this is what she's talking about or this is what it means. We've never really worked on, like, a lot of patients at once, so it's kind of interesting to have a whole bunch of them coming at you. In Sioux Falls, Dan Centella, Kelloland News. Some good experience, especially for Wasmint, who's planning to eventually be an EMT on the campus of South Dakota State University.